Hi, I am Amarpreet Singh Saluja. I am currently pursuing B.Tech from Electronics and Communication. I am currently in my fourth year. Talking about my academics, I was able to maintain a CGPA of around 9.12. If I talk about uh, my achievements during last four years, one of the most prominent ones should be that my team was able to uh, like uh, my team was the only one from uh, VIT, uh, VIT to make it to the finale of Prism Glance. Prism Glance is an event conducted by Samsung Research Institute, Bangalore. And uh, in that, uh, they give uh, a problem statement to each and every team. And the, based on the performance and uh, the, how you were able to solve that problem, you are shortlisted for the finale uh, and in the finale uh, teams from all around the country come and yeah so we were able to make it to the top five other than this i was also the part of uh, college's hockey team in my first year i was selected as the most promising player from our team and even i was part of many uh, uh, victorious campaigns by my team uh, we even uh, secured first position in Rajeshwari and second position in a state level uh, tournament uh, which is uh, organized in the memory of Major Dhyanchan and many other tournaments where uh, our team was able to perform very well and we achieved great success. So I got placed in two companies. Initially, I got placed in a dream core company, which is Alstom. Alstom is a company which deals with uh, train engines and it uh, generally deals uh, with the metro projects uh, going all around our nation. It is uh, an MNC from France. So in case of Alstom, uh, around 460 or 470 students applied and all those students were nine pointers so for alstom the cutoff uh, was 9.00 uh, was the cutoff cgpa for alstom and the process was like the first round uh, was uh, so the first round was online test which included questions from quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, and English. And the next round was uh, a GD, group discussion. And out of which people got selected, then uh, those students were uh, gone through two rounds of selection process, which were, uh, one of them was a technical interview round, and the other one was a HR round. So in the technical interview round, like nothing much uh, was asked to me, like the most of the discussion was on my resume and on the projects which I done during the course of the last four years. And in the HR round, there were basic questions on why do you want to do, uh, uh, why do you want to get into Alstom and why not uh, in post graduation and why do you want to do a job? So these were the basic general questions, which was asked to me uh, during these two rounds and after that uh, i got selected of our uh, uh, full uh, i got selected and i was offered a full-time role of a get get is a general engineering trainee yeah, that's all about alstom after this i got placed in a super dream company called oyo rooms so in case of oyo rooms i was a uh, offered a role of a software developer and I got an uh, offer of uh, six months of internship and a full-time offer after that. So in case of OYO, the selection process was like around 1700 students uh, were uh, appearing for the first round, which was a coding test. Plus uh, there were uh, 10 to 20 MCQs were also there and after the first round uh, uh, then there were two to three rounds of selection process for oyo after the first uh, online coding round so in these two to three rounds uh, uh, basically students were grilled on the 
on their knowledge of data structures and algorithm and operating system only so there was no hr around as such for oyo and both like for me there were only two rounds so both of them were uh, technical rounds where i was drilled uh, mostly on my data structures and my coding knowledge so if i talk about how many students applied and how many were able to clear it so in case of alstom around 460 applied and 24 were able to make it and in case of oyo 1700 students around 1650 to 1700 students applied and uh, around 11 uh, were the students who were able to clear it and they were offered 6 uh, months of internship and a full time offer so as i said earlier there were three rounds of selection process after the online test in case of alstom so the first round was a group discussion for group discussion the strategy i used was that i used to go through news each and every day so that I, i'll be aware about uh, what's happening around me and what's going around and uh, for the other two rounds uh, the next one was a technical uh, interview round so in case of technical interview they focus on your projects and your resume so the only strategy which you can follow is make your projects on your own and don't copy it if you copy it like uh, make sure you know each and everything about it because uh, they ask you about uh, what are the difficulties you face uh, during while making these projects so yeah that is uh, what you can do uh, for the technical round and in case of hr round uh, the only strategy i used was that i used to go through a lot of interview experiences on geeks for geeks because they that gives you an idea about what kind of questions you will face during hr round and what are the answers which you are supposed to give so yeah that uh, will be my advice for you and then in case of oyo there were two rounds after the online test and both of them were uh, the technical rounds and in those two technical rounds i was grilled on my knowledge uh, of coding and data structures and algorithm i was asked uh, questions uh, from dynamic programming and uh, the questions were on graphs and trees as well and they were looking for optimized solutions so uh, if uh, you are uh, solving problems on platforms like code shift code forces or uh, lead code and various others so that will give you an idea of how you can uh, come up with a uh, optimized solutions for a problem so yeah uh, my preparation strategy for these rounds were to practice as many as problems uh, that i could from my favorite platforms there are various whatever suits you the best you can go through that and prepare for it so i might not be the best one to give an advice on how to prepare for placements because i myself was preparing for cat for a lot of time uh, in my third year and like i started actually preparing for my placements in my sixth sem because my back of my mind i had this thought that if not cat and if things didn't go well so i should have something as a backup so yeah that's when i started preparing for my placements and for placement the only strategy which i used is to code at least for an hour or two each and every day so that i can hone all my coding skills because i was not that good in coding uh, initially because uh, actually i used to hate coding in my first and second semester because coming from uh, like i didn't have uh, computer science as the extra subject in my 11th and 12th i had physical education so i didn't like uh, computer, uh, coding that much but then i realized that if i have to like if i want a decent placement if i want a good placement then coding is very important so apart from these two uh, uh, apart from coding Uh, other skills which you required is a good quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning because they ask you question from uh, quantitative aptitude and uh, logical reasoning and english as well so as i said i was preparing for cat so i didn't have to prepare for them uh, like separately because i had a good command over qa and logical reasoning so but if 
I have to advise you like what can you do for uh, preparing for quants, uh, logical reasoning and for puzzles and all you can uh, go through India Bigs. There are many questions on uh, aptitude on India Bigs and uh, for LR and all you can go through RS Agarwal. There is a book for LR separately if you want to prepare and you can get many questions if you Google. So yeah, there are various websites and you can refer those for preparation of uh, quants, LR and English. So in Alstom, there was no coding round, but in case of OYO, there was a coding round and that was on Hacker Earth. And uh, we had two questions and both of them were on DP, DP dynamic programming. So uh, the first question was uh, to find the maximum points which can be obtained by deleting elements from an array. And the second one was count of ways to travel a cyclic path in n steps in a triangular pyramid. So um, I'll uh, share these two questions and if you want to go through them, uh, you can go through them. So both of them uh, were on uh, DP and they wanted an optimized solution. So uh, for uh, questions like these, uh, the only strategy which you can use is solve more and more problems on various platforms like lead code, code chef, code forces, so that you will be prepared when you see uh, these questions in your coding round and you'll be able to solve it. So yeah. So resume according to me is very important because many companies ask you to upload your resume and they shortlist on the basis of your resume as well. So my advice would be that start making your own projects first. Stop copying it from GitHub. Start making them on your own. Other than that, you should, uh, uh, you should participate in various different hackathons. Other than that, uh, you should uh, get many certifications, Cisco, AWS and various other certifications. You can get Cisco provides you a CCNA certificate, which uh, is a huge add on. AWS also provides various good certificates. So yeah, get those certifications and stop running behind those which are provided by your seniors in cultural fest. They are of no use. So stop running behind those certificates and other than that, uh, what you should be doing is uh, like know about your projects to the core each and everything about your projects. You should be knowing because as I earlier mentioned that uh, in my interview with Alstom in the technical round, I was only facing the question on my projects. So yeah, projects are very important. You should focus on projects. You should not make a lot of good projects but you should have two to three very good projects on your resume and you should know each and everything about them yeah so talking about how to maintain a good cgpa in college i'll not say that uh, to maintain a cgpa like nine or nine above yeah you'll have to study each and every day no you'll not I myself was part of hockey team and I used to look forward that when will it be 5.30 in the evening and I'll go and start playing. But uh, to be a nine pointer, there is very, to be a nine pointer or to get a CGPA which you want. Uh, only thing which you need is start studying a week prior and be a bit disciplined and punctual with your studies and that, that's all like submit your assignments on time give your reviews on time and that is all and then talking about that is cgpa important guys it is very important like we all had friends who used to say bhai chill maate hain cgpa and all se kya hi farak padta hai skill matters i will say no guys cgpa matters because when the short lists come you will feel very disappointed just because your cgpa was not good enough you will get uh, like disqualified for the company or you will not find your name in the shortlist. So my advice will be that uh, 
try to keep your cgpa as high as you can because it is important and yeah it will matter so yeah please especially for those from non csit branches guys please start studying and maintain a good cgpa because it is important so talking about placement ratio in our college it is not that great uh, so in case of alstom around 470 students applied and around 24 students made it so the ratio was very bad and it was worse in case of oyo in oyo around 1700 students applied for the job like uh, the, uh, there were 1700 students who uh, were there uh, for the first round of selection process which was the online test and out of those only 11 uh, students got the offer so yeah the ratios are really bad and scary uh, talking about other companies uh, like in companies like amazon and all uh, which allows mostly each uh, every student because their cutoff is very low so around 3000 students applied uh, and wrote the test and around uh, 10 made it so yeah ratios are not that great and motivating so my advice to my juniors would be that try to maintain a balance between like the fun whatsoever the fun you want to have in your college life it is very important because if you'll not have any fun lives engineering life can get very stressful so yeah have fun enjoy your college life for sure like join clubs be a part of certain teams associate yourself with some group because that and all will groom you but you should study like studying in college is important because don't forget what are you here for you are here to take a good placement or to make it to some very good college so yeah so study have fun and guys uh, like uh, i would say that till my third year i used to hate coding i never liked it but to get a decent job or to get a good job to get placed in a good job you will have to code you don't have an option it is how it is. it is what it is it is how it is so yeah uh, if you want to get placed in other core companies or certain other like companies uh, know about basics of your core subjects and have a good command over them and practice uh, topics such as quants and lr because they will help you and help you and a lot and class i'll say chill maro bhai ho jayega so yeah have fun and uh,